There's hundreds of thousands of business books out there right now on every different topic there is to know about business, and most of them don't matter. And I've read a ton of them, so you don't have to. And in this video, I'm gonna give you my top three books that in my opinion are the most important and have been the most impactful in my journey from starting a business with $150 to now running a company with 28 full-time employees that generates 400 plus thousand dollars a month. So let's get into it. If you're not reading books, that's such a big problem. Stop scrolling TikTok, start reading books because books, you can actually have a sneak peek into some of the brightest minds in the world. You're telling me Warren Buffett writes books, founders of huge companies like Nike, Google, the list goes on, have written books on exactly how they've done what they've done and the lessons they've learned building the stuff that they've built, yet you're not gonna go read that stuff? You can only think your thoughts, but to go and get a sneak peek into someone else's mind, it's kind of a crazy thing and reading books is one of the highest ROI things you can do as a business owner. Number one, my favorite book of all time, completely changed my life. I have nothing but good things to say about it. And it's not even a business book, Can't Hurt Me by David Goggins. If you haven't read this book, go get the audio version. It's so much better than the actual like paperback. You don't know me, son! You don't know me, son! Who's gonna carry the boats and the logs? This book taught me so much about what you're actually capable of as a human, right? now. The stories he tells in this book about going from fat lardy fuck to Navy SEAL running hundreds of miles at a time. I went through three Navy SEAL hell weeks in one year. Only guy to ever be in three hell weeks in one year to my knowledge. I, I didn't stop anymore from there. It applies to fitness and it applies to all that stuff, but you can take any lessons he talks about as far as physicality goes and pushing his physical limits to any aspect of your life. And I was able to take this not only from physical, but also to business. And for example, I'll give you two. Number one, when I first read this book, it got me so fired up and I was a bit chubby at the time. I went from chubby to in three months running an ultra marathon and I was training my ass off. But also in business, when there's stressful times, like, hey, I don't have enough cash in the bank to make payroll next week, that's very, very stressful. But you just have this mentality and you build this callus on your mind of like, hey, I'm gonna make it happen no matter what I have to do. And that book taught me a lot of lessons. It taught me to be a lot mentally tougher, but more importantly, it taught me to go put myself in more uncomfortable situations so I can continue to callous my mind and make myself mentally stronger. Number two, scaling up. As soon as you start to build your team and hire and have to manage and lead people, this book is phenomenal. And this book frankly changed the game for both me and Sergio because when you start to grow your business and you start to get to five employees, you start to get to 10 employees, you start to get 15, 20, you start to add different lines of communication. Right now with 28 full-time employees, we have 28 different people communicating with each other. So you need a strong system to be able to manage the communication that flows through the organization. And what scaling up taught us was how to structure structure meetings, how to structure quarterly planning, monthly planning, yearly planning, and then also come up with the correct KPIs to drive the results we want. And also the key rocks that we need to hold people accountable to, to also drive results in the company. So how we implement this in our business is we have things called daily huddles with our leadership team where we get on, we give quick updates on what's being worked on. And then every Monday, we do what's called an MIT review, a most important task review. That way we can check and see from each leader in each department, from sales, marketing, customer success, and client fulfillment. And we can see what each of these departments are doing week by week and quarter by quarter that's ultimately driving our main objectives of the company that we wanna accomplish on a yearly basis. And ultimately what this book allowed us to do was create a strong, operating system for our business so we could always have a pulse and know what's going on so it doesn't feel so chaotic because as you start to grow as you start to scale your business is going to feel chaotic especially when you're managing large teams of people Number three is built to sell. Built to sell was super cool because it got me into the frame of mind of building a business to be able to sell it, even if you don't actually wanna sell it. Because the cool thing about business is it's one of, if not the best asset class in the world if you have the skill of building and scaling businesses. Because you can get multiples off of profit, some industries you can get multiple off revenue. The way the book's written is a fictional story about an advertising agency owner and how he takes his struggling business and being stressed out to hire hiring and structuring it and eventually selling and making a ton of money. And that's really how most business owners really everywhere are, is stressed out and running around like a chicken with their head cut off because they're stuck in sales or they're stuck in marketing or just stuck in every department in the business because they don't wanna hire or they don't know how to hire. And this book goes through step by step how 
he would think about hiring and scaling a business to ultimately exit. And the cool thing about exiting is that's how most people get rich in this country and really anywhere because going back to what I said, you get a really high multiple off of profits or even multiples off your revenue depending on the industry. And if you can scale it properly, you can sell businesses for millions, tens of millions, hundreds of millions. There's businesses being bought every year for billions of dollars. So having the skill and thinking about what chess moves am I gonna make today that are gonna pay off in the next 12, 24, 36 months, that's gonna build what's called the enterprise value of your business, what your company is actually worth to a potential buyer. You also have to do certain things in your business to be able to make it attractive for a buyer. Things like having lots of recurring revenue, being really, really high in profit, not being reliant on the owner to make sales in the business, having a proper leadership team in place. That's just to name a few. And this book runs through that whole process and how you can actually structure and build a business to sell. And even if you don't wanna sell, you should still want to build to sell because at the very least you can have a leadership team and eventually a new CEO in place to actually run the business so it still can actually grow without you. Because you can do all the reading you want at the end of the day, if you don't actually take the lessons and apply them, none of the reading actually matters. Maybe you've heard of some of those, maybe you haven't. If you have, go pick them up again, give them a reread. If not, go check them out. All amazing books, all have been hugely impactful to my journey and my success. Let me know in the comments below what your favorite books are. Hopefully there's some I haven't heard of so I can continue to read. Reading is one of the best things you could do for your life. If you got some value out of this video, hit subscribe, hit like, let us know what you wanna see next, and we'll see you in the next one. Peace.